So we were talking about the different parts of communication and the impact that the different parts have. And what we said is that the words that you use have the smallest impact. 7% impact is coming from the words you use and 38% from paraverbal, 55% from nonverbal. So that you, you felt the importance of the paraverbal and the nonverbal. So when we take nonverbal, we are talking of body language. So this study was done on TED speakers, <laughs> TED Talk speakers. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design, TED. So it started some years ago. So they get speakers to come and do what is called a TED Talk. <laughs> and it has become globally, globally famous. Millions of views. So each TED Talk is 18 to 20 minutes short, not more than that. So if you actually go to YouTube and you search for TED Talks, you will find so many. If you want to see TED Talks on leadership, you know, leadership or the TED Talks on communication, on, on design, on research, on, you know, health, on, I don't know, addiction, various topics. There was a study done by a lady called Vanessa Van Edwards on what is the difference between TED speakers who get millions of views and TED speakers who get much less views. What is the difference? What are these speakers doing? Why do some people get so many millions of views and some people, sometimes topic is the same. The speakers are equally qualified, equally expert, but some are getting millions, some are getting much less, right? Why? So she was curious. So she got people to rate the speakers on charisma, credibility and intelligence. Charisma, we will discuss more. They say person has charisma. That is this person you feel drawn to. We feel that that person has like a magnetic presence. Bhagi. Right? There are certain people like that. Right? Like I think Vijay Kumaratunga was supposed to have a very charismatic personality. People like to be around him. I think even uh, even uh, President Mahindra Rajapaksa liked that. Very, very charismatic uh, people. People like to be with them. And some others, not so much. <laughs> so charisma. Charismatic people. People like... Uh, Barack Obama, very charismatic. Donald Trump, not so much. <laughs> so that's, there's a charismatic, uh, charismatic people. So what they did was, they got people to rate these talks with the sound on mute. They're looking at only the body language. And what they found was, the people who rated the talks while listening to them, who said this talk is good, and the people who rated the talks without sound, mute, and said this talk is good, same. <laughs> so what they found was, People are able to, people actually make a judgment based only on body language. <laughs> the importance of body language, right? Have you understand how important body language is? So what they say is the three important things where people will decide do they like you or not in just two seconds. Three things. One is hands, other is posture, and the third is eye contact. So that's called a triple, triple threat. Posture, eye contact, hands. What they found was the best speakers, the speakers who people are saying we really like these speakers, where the views are millions of views, were having double the number of hand gestures versus the people with the fewest views. <laughs> so the best speakers had 465 hand gestures on average. Hand gestures are 18 minute talk, 465 gestures <laughs> versus about half in the group, other group, right? 272. So let's, so what they're, what they're basically saying, research is also showing this is, the more gestures we, we have, the more impactful the talk. So why, why is this so important? When we have gestures, we are doing hearing and watching both. You're hearing the person and you're also watching, it's, it's, it's exciting, it's like a movie, it's, it's happening, it's happening, right? So gestures becomes very, very important. So EFM is eyes follow movement, right? So when there is movement, we are more focused on the movement. However, movement doesn't mean shuffling around. Not that type of movement. That becomes a distracting movement. So now I'm talking to you and I'm also shuffling around. So is it like this? How is it like this? That becomes very disturbing, isn't it? Isn't it? Whom does this remind you of? Charlie Chaplin. It reminds me of an elephant in the zoo. When you're talking, when you're talking to people, if I want to move here, I'll move here, then stay and now talk. <laughs> then if I want to move there, move. Talk. But don't keep <laughs> moving. 
that is not and don't don't do a dance while you're talking then then my hobby maker is playing cricket so when we play cricket you know it's like i'm doing a dance and we can nicely play cricket ideally keep your lower body that is waist downwards nicely rooted to the ground so it's firm it's like a tree upper body you can there's still the stability is there right from the lower body the trick is never think you are making a speech does anyone like to listen to a speech do you like to listen to a speech i yo i didn't listen to a speech for a long time no we don't like to listen to speeches therefore don't give a speech don't make a presentation either we don't like presentations also what do we like conversations we like conversations so don't make a speech to me don't present to me talk to me talk with me ah let's see one better talk with me you can have a conversation even with 100000 people <laughs> conversation i am not making a speech now <laughs> we have a conversation so be natural you don't have to worry about being perfect number one no one can be perfect number two actually no one wants us to be perfect what they have found from research is when you are talking and let's say you make a mistake people like you more isn't that strange why is this it's natural therefore people think ha ah, he is like me <laughs> i also make a mistake ha ah, they like you more we want our audience to like us <laughs> don't deliberately make mistakes but when you're talking that you you forget something you make a mistake it's not a big deal be natural it's human nature yeah you must make mistakes so we don't have to worry now today there were many times i asked you what the singular word is <laughs> Once or twice I said the wrong word. That's okay. Not a big deal because we are having a conversation. So don't worry. What is important is that we have, that we are natural. Be yourself. Be yourself. Don't pretend to be someone that we are not. Vocal variety is equal to charisma and credibility. So when there is vocal variety, we can build the charisma and credibility, and then we can also have more engagement. The longer TED speaker smiled, the higher their perceived intelligence ratings. <laughs> that's interesting right the more the speaker smiled the more the audience thought that they were intelligent <laughs> you wouldn't normally think there's a correlation between smiling and intelligence but metana what they're saying is the more the speaker smiled our intelligence rate karupu ek score ek vadi bola because people thought that they are more intelligent because they're smiling more so what's the lesson here smile it's not like from the start of the speech today i am going to give you some news that this year we are not going to give any more increments i mean now bro you get hammered <laughs> right <laughs> so not not like that but you know have a genuine smile 7 seconds in 7 seconds or less people decided whether they like the speaker or not <laughs> that's a very short time perception but as long as as far as the human being is concerned what's important to them is their perception you see me for 2 minutes 2 seconds you decide whether you like me or not no one can argue with you no? it's done 2 seconds that's very fast isn't it so this is this is the research done by this lady called vanessa uh, van edward so using gestures which we were discussing earlier is important so these are some of the ted speakers the type of gestures that they were uh, making smiling see that's that's so nice right to see a, a smile like that genuine smile 